Hey you, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tenoya, Jamaican YouTuber. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And of course, comment below here and drop a hand heart. Let me know where you're from. And I would really appreciate it if you guys got this video to 3,100 likes. Yes, I'd really appreciate it because your girl just turned 31 years old. Yeah. And in my previous New York vlog, you know, you guys showed me so much birthday love. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So much comments, but I've read them all. I'm still taking the time to respond to everyone. But I just want to thank you guys so much for supporting me and always showing me love and commenting and just engaging in all my videos. I really appreciate you guys. I want you guys to do that. Whenever I post a video, like, I want you to comment. Like, I want you to comment. Give me your feedback. Let's talk. Let's get to know each other. You guys are a part of my support system. And you are Family and I really do rock with you guys so thank you so much for rocking with me so we're still in New York um, my birthday was last week August 23rd I'm a Virgo Virgo baby 31 I spent it with my friend Brittany she's a Jamaican youtuber as well she surprised me here in New York and we went to Chinatown and in this video we did some other fun stuff you know we'll continue the celebration and yeah New York is just nice and cool like guys I'm not even looking forward to going back to Jamaica like even when the Sun is hot it's just I'm not sweating like I have not sweat not once since I've been here in New York like I love it and I know when I go back to Jamaica I'm going back to hell yeah my friend she got back and she was like no man like i have to be turning up my ac like it's just so hot and i'm not looking forward to that i would love to live in new york like i love the diverse culture here like so much caribbean people so much different ethnic groups like i know it's dirty some places but i just love the hustle and bustle and the drive and i love that i can take public transportation without feeling weird about it like i can hop on the train i can hop on the um the Long Island Railroad, I can hop on the bus and get to where I'm going without having to spend millions on an Uber. Like, I love that. In Jamaica, public transportation is a big no. But here, I don't mind. Um, New York is not as cheap as people think. Because I've been spending all some money here. Like, people think Jamaica is expensive. But I've been spending all the money here and I have not really bought anything. So, yeah. But, I mean, if you earn US dollars, it doesn't really... Um, make a difference but if you earn Jamaican dollars and you come up here and spend your money you're gonna feel it but yeah so um for my birthday I got a few gifts from friends and I want to do like a birthday unboxing with you guys so of course I have to start off with my dossier perfume you know your girl treated herself to a dossier perfume yeah and I got the scent Fruity Neroli. This is $29 and it's the Armani My Ways inspiration. Um, the concentration is 18% and the top notes Neroli, black currant, strawberry, middle notes jasmine, orange blossom, and the base notes vanilla and cedarwood. And it's inspired by Giorgio Armani My Way eau de perfume and of course dossier's mission is to deliver the highest top quality scents at the fraction of the cost now you guys know i love the packaging I'm, I'm always sharing with you guys to get your hands on dossier because i love the packaging like it's a perfect gift for anyone and so i gifted myself iconic scents designer quality no markups and yeah so this is fruity neroli so cute here she is. I love the packaging. You know, I, I preach about it in every video. I love the magnetic cover. There's no spillage and it smells amazing. It is colorant free and it is made in Paris. Now, I am just a huge fan of Dossier. Like this smells like a sunshine in a bottle, guys. Like I'm not even exaggerating. It just smells so good. Of course, if you're not sure what scent to try on Dossier, they have a really cute quiz that you can take to find the perfect scent just for you. If you're not sure if you're a fan of fruit in a roll, you can try it. Return it. Returns are free. You don't have to make a commitment right now. You can try something else until you find your perfect scent. Dossier makes it so easy to shop and want to just keep growing your perfume collection like i have so many of them they even have scents for your room they have candles there's a scent for you for your boyfriend for a friend so i had to grab my hands on fruit in a roll for my birthday because i'm just feeling like this is my sunshine year this is my happy year and this scent makes me very happy get your hands on fruit in a roll just like me yeah 
like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I, I've been wearing this and like, I've been getting so much compliments all the time. So I had to get a new bottle, of course. So yeah, also got myself another perfume, guys, but we can't believe this. So why I treat myself to Valentina, right? Like I bought this in Jamaica at the duty free store bijou and i bought myself a valentino like this smells so good this is a birthday gift to myself it's about 130 us dollars um but why i brought like i literally dropped the perfume two times look at that we drop it here so so when i tell you that i love dossiers um magnetic top i don't know why i held on to the perfume top and it dropped out my hand twice yeah so that's the perks of dossier but yeah i got this valentina scent but i'm so happy it did not break it was just a little treat to myself but it smells amazing and it pairs really well with my dossier perfume but um yeah i just can't leave i dropped the bottle i also got myself some goodies from sephora um i got really recommended this i got the Too faced born this way concealer it's a super coverage multi-use sculpting concealer and i got the shade butterscotch now let's open it together i haven't opened any of these yet so this is it um Britney suggested it so i'm gonna be trying this out i really just want to up my makeup game and just get some really nice um high quality stuff so i went to sephora because i got a sephora gift card from two friends big up yourself jody and big up yourself doc thank you so much i also got from sephora that's the brand and it's spf 30 i don't want to pronounce it incorrectly so this is it it helps to protect and hydrate for dewy prime skin so i can use it as a primer or just wear it alone and she says it's perfect for the summertime because you know jamaica is pretty much summer all year round so i got this um it's a broad spectrum sunscreen providing uva and uvb protection the eight percent hydration trio gives skin it gives skin a smooth dewy finish and you can apply it under makeup for a dewy skin prime for a better makeup application so let's open this together i think this was ten dollars go perfectly in my makeup bag and i have some hyperpigmentation going on under my chin that i want to get controlled this will be perfect let me see if it has a scent to it Okay, so there's no scent. Because I don't like when the stuff have too much scent. It really does give me like a slight headache. So, this is something else I grabbed from Sephora. Now, all the TikTok girls are talking about the Milk Makeup Primer. So, I grabbed one. This was on the price side. This is about $38. I mean, I'm seeing mixed reviews about it. So, I got the size. I think this is 1.7 ounce. Oh, 1.52 ounce and this is it it's really cute and compact so let's see let's see how it does under the foundation so i'm super excited about this um i also got a birthday gift from sephora i had like three options but i chose this one it's the ilia or ilia this is the brand and pretty much it's a mascara and a lip balm or it can be worn as a blush so we're gonna give this a try the girl is in sephora recommended this for my hyperpigmentation under my chin britney also grabbed one it's the retinol serum and it's from the brand shani darden retinol reform smooth fine lines firm and brighten so i'm going to be applying this under the skin but she recommended that i can either mix it with my moisturizer for under my chin or apply my moisturizer or spf first and then apply it but only wear it at night time i did indeed test it out this is the packaging it is it's 0.3 ounces um so this is the packaging so perfect for travelers well really cute and compact and i've tried it two nights in a row so let's see if i'm gonna see any results using this it was also i believe 38 dollars a little pricey no 30 dollars i believe around that range but i just want to get the darkness under my chin so i'm just gonna try whatever i can right now to help fix that and i also grabbed a new foundation now britney swears by this i think i'm gonna get the nars next but i got the makeup by mario and also in this video you see that i went to sephora and i did like the, the skin match with using the tools and everything however she was recommending 19c 
and I just thought it was too light because I tan easily on my arms I don't like having my face too light and then my arms are dark and I just look kind of weird I wanted like a black girl's opinion so I went to a different Sephora and she was great you know she was great I grabbed most of these stuff from her but I wanted the perfect foundation but if I'm gonna be spending $40 and more I want the perfect foundation so I went to a different Sephora and I wanted a black girl's assistance and she recommended the 20N in the makeup by Mario. No, I didn't open it. Um, let me see if I can open it underneath. I don't want to like ruin it. Hmm. Okay. So this is how it looks. Ooh. So it has like um when she try it on it's a little matte but it has like it illuminates it kind of illuminates my face a little bit like it was matte but it had like some particles in there that made me have like this really nice um glow i really love that so we're gonna give this a try i haven't tried it as yet first time unboxing it with you guys so yeah my makeup game is gonna be up when i go back to jamaica and i got me so i've been eyeing this for a while i wanted the apple the airpods max and my friend got me these i'm super excited thank you so much friend and let's unbox it together so here it is ah no i did try it out in store when i tell you that noise cancelling on this is amazing like you have the option to turn it on and off so i love that because when i'm editing my videos at night i don't want to hear nothing i just want to focus on every single detail in my video so this would be perfect for me but um i did try it on and i had like a slight headache so i don't think i'll be using noise cancelling all the time it could have been just that day or it could have been me i don't know but i'm gonna wear it on my flight back to jamaica and see how i feel but here she is i got the color black because the girlies were saying that it dirties really easily so this is it we're unboxing it together and um yeah so here it is i'm just putting it on like i can literally not hear any sound but this is it i think i might get the protective cover right here just so it doesn't scratch and it also comes with this sleeve but i think i'm gonna get like a different sleeve just so um, I can protect it because it's pretty pricey and it also comes with a charging cord and I guess like the information about the product and yeah so that's it for my birthday unboxing uh, pretty simple I did have my eyes on this diamond earring but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be treating myself to that my mom but my mom was telling me to get it but I don't know if I really want to spend like $800 on a pair of diamond earrings maybe for Christmas I know what the guy was selling it to me earrings are from Sheen and this is from Sheen and this is from my 30th birthday. This was my gift to myself. And my bangle is from Sheen and my watch is from Michelle. That's just it for accessories today. And yeah, so that's it for my birthday unboxing. Truly grateful, but even more grateful for you guys wishing me a happy birthday. I believe over 400 of you wished me happy birthday. So thank you so much. I'm still going through all the comments, but you definitely made my birthday and of course in my last video i had to record on my phone but my camera is back so i will update you guys shout out to the team that got my camera fixed within two three days here in new york thank you so much guys really appreciate it and yes yeah, so we're just back to making great content more vlogs more try on hauls whatever you guys want me to do you can always suggest it and i will try my best to make it happen and yeah so that's it for my birthday unboxing i also do um want to share with you guys because you guys told me in the last video you enjoyed my talks with t or my ted talks with t and so i made a list of the 31 things that i learned in my 31 years and i want to like talk to you guys about it so let's get into that yes i did one when i was 29 or was it 30 so let's get into it so number one worry less and live like Life is too short. I know there are times that we're always going to be overthinking and we can't help it. But, you know, just live. Like, we have to just get up and live. The older we get and we realize that we can't get that time back. You just have to worry less and live. Like, when you worry and stress, you can get heart disease. You can get illnesses. You don't want that, guys. If you can avoid it, find different things that are therapeutic for you. Um, 
speak to a psychiatrist, get counseling, uh, speak to a friend, listen to music. There are different methods that you can find to just live more and just find stuff to make you more happy. Um, number two, live in the moment, enjoy the time experiences because you usually never get it back. So you know when you're out with your friends and you just in your phone, sometimes literally just try and live in that moment because a lot of times I think about past experiences I'm like damn like I went to Curacao, I wish I could have done something different, I wish I could have used my phone less, I wish I was more present in that time. Sometimes you never ever get these experiences back, you know. Uh, let me just turn this around a little bit. Yeah. Sometimes you just never get those experiences back. Give thanks always. You have to always give God thanks. Without God, we will not be here. Just waking up every day is a blessing. Every day, I try my best to just be like, thank you, God, for waking me up this morning. Thank you, God, for a safe flight. Thank you, God, for $500. Thank you, God, for just always give thanks. And that's why you'd always receive and be more blessed. Just always give thanks and always be grateful. Yeah number four save 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 i can't i can't preach this enough i spoke about it in my last video go check it out just save and save and save while you can while you're here to save towards things it just makes your life a lot easier when you want to spend and you don't have to like worry about where your next dollar is coming from you know what i'm saying but i did discuss that in my previous video so you can check that out number five sleep is important and so is diet and health i have not been sleeping well and i can i know it's, it has a lot to do with my weight gain i'm not sleeping well i'm going to bed like two three in the morning and i just don't know why i don't want to depend on melatonin but sleep it's very important it really does play a role in like your healthy lifestyle and how you feel and how productive you are and just find different ways and methods to just try and sleep and be healthy and to eat healthy foods and to have like a healthy lifestyle if you're able to afford it and if you're able to do so go to the doctor occasionally take care of your health now and not later trust me i'm pretty sure our parents wish they were able to do so more back then but we have more resources at our disposal that we are able to go to the doctor if you have a slight headache i'm not saying every cough you have to go to the doctor but some things don't overlook some feelings and pains and you know like however you're feeling you know you know in the back of your mind sometimes you should go to the doctor or not to know you are the ones we're, we are the ones that overlook certain signs and symptoms and we're like you know i should go to the doctor months ago don't Think about your health now because we only get one life, guys. And sometimes some of these things, if we had just take the time and seek help and assistance from now, we wouldn't have to spend millions and a lot more later. Yeah. Next one, your circle will get smaller. The older I got, I realized that my circle is a lot smaller. I can count on my hand how much friends I have and I love it that way. Not everybody's your friend. Not every high school friend is going to be your long-term friend. Not every person you cross path with is going to be your friend. You might think you're their friend, but they don't think you're their friend. And I feel like that's a, lot of, that's a problem that we have. Like We're, we're in a lot of one-sided relationships and friendships where you're giving and pouring out yourself to someone and you're like, oh, that's my friend. To them, they're like, oh... Me and I just talk like we're cool, but I don't think she's a friend. So be careful because the older you get, you're gonna realize that not everybody's your friend, and that's okay. You're gonna have good days and you're gonna have bad days, and it just comes with life. It comes with the territory. But we'll have to just give thanks and keep pushing and turn our bad days into good days or better days or more manageable days. Don't be in a rush to find love or be married. Take your time, right? Marriage may not be for everyone marriage may not even be for you and some people just never get married some people never have a boyfriend and some people just never fall in love and they love themselves and they're okay while others want it i'm not saying because i want to be married i want to be in love i want to have a baby i want all those but i want those things in the right timing that god wants me to have it right so just live life and what's for you will always be for you and you know like if you want to be married and you know you're first of all you can't be in the house every day and think you're going to find your husband. You have to get out some more, find your significant other. You have to go places where you like to find your partner. And you, it may happen, but you can't be in the house every day and talk about, we don't want to go nowhere, I don't want to go anywhere, I just want to be home. Who is going to find you, boo? You're going to have to leave the house. You're going to have to leave the house to find your person. Um, don't be in a rush to have kids. Kids are expensive. Also, having the right partner is very important because you guys may have different values and goals and you don't wanna you don't wanna resent your partner. You don't wanna resent your baby mother or your baby father. Like I feel that 
this happens so much like people be having kids and then when the baby return or one or two they can't stand the person who they had the they can't stand the baby father and they can't stand the baby mother and they wish them never have kids together so just be careful who you have kids with and don't be in a rush to have kids because kids are very expensive you have college you have um elementary school prep school primary school uniform and i just want to give the best to my child so i'm not in a rush because kids are expensive and i'm still thinking about me right now i'm putting those things in place so when i have my child they're very comfortable because my mom gave every my mom gave the last of everything to me and I want to be able to give everything to my child so they're comfortable to have a great education and to be the best of who they want to be just because my mom did that for me and I want to continue that legacy it's never too late to start over I know sometimes we feel like damn I messed up in this area or I'm getting too old it's never too late to go back to school it's never too late to get that diploma that GED that certificate it's never too late to start a new business idea do an online course in something you always want to do it's just never too late live in the moment if you want to do it go after it yeah ask for help I know other persons where our pride is very high and when I like to ask for help but want you me if me need help make an ask for help because closed mouths don't get fed baby you have to i'm not saying you have to tell everybody all your business but sometimes you're really going through something and you have really solid friends friendships family whatever ask for help you may never know you might get a no with ask somebody you might just get a yes you might just get the full assistance that you've always wanted like you won't know unless you ask if you want something and you can afford it get it yeah we have needs and we have wants, but sometimes you can treat yourself to a want. Like, there are many times where I'm just like, I was just too cheap and too frugal to not get myself the things that I've wanted. And now I'm just like, if I like it and it makes sense, I'm gonna get it because I wanna get one life and I may not get the opportunity again to get it. So treat yourself, if you want it, go for it. When dating, think long term and not just in the moment. Think. Because people do show their red flags early though, but we want to be blind. Be blind if you want to, but people always show us them true colors early, early, early. And we're always like, no, we can't change him. No, we can't go to therapy. No, he only acts this way when he's tired or whatever. No, these are the signs of who they're going to be and worse when you get married and have a kids. If they're controlling, no, in the dating phase, they're going to be even more controlling when you get married yeah so just think about those things um when dating think about long term and not just in a moment is he gonna be a good father to my child is he kind to people on the street does he make me feel love and nurture is he gonna be like a good role model to my kids do i like the patterns that he showed me right now those things are very important my mom was always right or my parents are usually right so i'm not gonna go into too much detail but all the things that my mom was telling me when my younger days the older i got i'm just like when she told me to go to the party or she told me to run down the boredom and that, and that they're gonna break my heart and blah 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 she was onto something she was protecting me yeah my mom is always right high school and college played an integral role in my daily skills we may not believe it now but there are a few things that we learned in high school and college that we can literally use in our day to day and when your parents say you must go to school and get an education just getting that basic knowledge does help you a lot to progress in life and yeah eat at home more save some more cook some more healthy meals at home because the food that they're giving us in the street is not healthy they're not changing the oil it's too fat it's too greasy unless you're eating healthy options you know but if you're eating like fast food you can save sometimes and just eat out at home and save some more money and put that money towards the goals that you have for yourself be kind and respectful you never know who you're going to need in the future and you always cross paths and you might burn a bridge and you're like shoot i shouldn't have disrespected that person because you never know who you're gonna need never know who you're gonna book into um into that job interview you, may, you never know who may know the person that you're trying to apply to the job for and you're like shoot but you know me and so and so did have beef just be kind to people because you never know trust your intuition your inner voice never fails and I know you know I'm onto something. Your inner voice never, never fails. You don't have to work a corporate job to be successful. Times have certainly changed and you can create your own income and follow the successful trains of others. We don't have to have a 9 to 5 anymore. You can go on YouTube, you can go on TikTok, you can create your own business. There's so much streams of income that we can literally pull, pull, pull from all areas and just be a part of. It may not be booming 
within a first week or a first month but with consistency and effort and trying you definitely can find different ways of incomes if you don't have a 95 and if a 95 is not for you speak up for yourself ask for the raise if something makes you uncomfortable share it let people know how you feel time cures all heartbreaks it may feel like the end of the world but you got this i used to feel like we used to cry cry myself to sleep and beg god for help me get over my heartbreak and stuff and just feeling like less than because of other people's um horrible behavior towards me but no time heals all wounds and god will always got you god will always pull you from down there so god will always bring you back up and say my child shake that off i got you you got this shake it off be your best self and the right he will send the right person for you guys i know a lot of us want to be in love and want to be married with your high school friends getting married having kids and we're like what are we doing wrong you're doing nothing wrong you just haven't crossed paths with your right person yet just keep focusing on you so when you do find your partner you're at your best self, you can give your best to that person and you guys can be great together and blend together and just, you know, be happy. Walk away from things that no longer serve you or make you happy so you can align with your goals and values. Make time for your parents and family while they're still around. Make that phone call, plan a little outing with them, tell your parents how much you love them and give them their flowers while they're still around. Give your family member their flowers, your sibling, your mom. I'm not saying you have to go out every month, but just remember to call them. Just a simple phone call. Hey, I'm thinking about you. I'm checking on your auntie. How you doing? Just give them their flowers while they can. We only have one life. We only have one set of auntie, one set of cousin, one set of siblings. Give people their flowers while they can, while you can, because you just never know. You know, you just never know. Walk your own path. Create your own story. Cutting people off doesn't mean you're the bad guy. And it took me a while to understand this it's because I'm always trying to protect everybody's views. But I'm just like, damn, nobody cared about how they made me feel. Nobody cared about what they did to Tanoya. People are always thinking about themselves. I'm not saying you have to be selfish, but put yourself first sometimes. You will know who to cut off and you will know who is sinking your ship and who is keeping you afloat. Invest in yourself. I spoke about this in my previous video. Go check it out. Take that trip. Travel. Plan it out. Live. Go on Pinterest. If there's somewhere you've always wanted to go, plan it with your friends or go alone. Some countries are really safe where you can do solo traveling, but plan that trip. Take that trip out of town. Go relax for two days. Detox. Just sit and enjoy your own company and come back. Just rejuvenate and feel refreshed and, ref and renewed. Just by spending some quality time, just taking that drive out of town, going to that resort for two days. It don't necessarily mean you have to go to a different country, but if you're able to afford, just do like a little staycation in your country, do that. Find your tribe, make time for your friends, prioritize catching up, doing something fun, updating each other on each other's lives and where you stand, and just keep the friendship going because finding true friends, true solid friendships are very hard these days and people are not always who they seem to be or who they perceive to be and people are not always honest and genuine. So when you have like your true core circle and your great friend groups and they're just, you guys have so much in common and you mesh very well, hold those people dear to your heart. Make the time for your friends because you never know, they may be going through something and just you guys catching up and on the, you know, just catching up and sharing stuff and showing each other love really could have really could have turned their horrible week into something more positive just know that yo i have my circle my friends are always there for me may have been down and here you are just being in your presence really could have just been something that they really needed you know spend time alone enjoy your own company and take yourself on a date i do this all the time and you know when you take yourselves on dates you know the things that you like you get to understand yourself more you know when someone else takes you on a date like what you're looking for you can pick up on the red flags and it makes you pick up on things that you're looking for in yourself and looking for in your partner so when you're on a date you know that like, oh right off the bat this is not gonna work for me because you know what you want for yourself you're secure with yourself you're secure with your own company and you know that even if you even if you're in a relationship or not you're okay with being alone because you've already set that boundary for yourself you already know how it is to enjoy your own company have a great time so you know what is that you're looking for in someone else and in your other friend groups and all that other stuff last but not least you are going to be okay i'm 31 and i'm gonna say i'm okay i'm content I'm, i still have dreams and aspirations that i'm trying to accomplish but i'm okay and god has always been there for me and you know i'm just looking forward to the next chapter of my life i think i'm gonna be okay so these are the 31 things that i learned in my 31 years 
comment below if you guys any of them resonate with you and what you can relate to and what you can't and if you want any additional tips or whatever to share below in the comments and of course like the video 30 to 100 likes yeah so this is what i've learned in my time here on earth and i just have to give god the glory and big up god you know like he's really been there for me and i've i'm not perfect i'm not always happy and bubbly like you guys think i am i have my moments too but i just try to pull myself out of it quick 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 because people out there are dying people out there have bigger problems than me and it would be very ungrateful of me to complain and i try my best not to compare myself to other people this is my story this is my journey and i'm gonna make the best of it so the vlog continues and I really hope you enjoyed my TED Talks with T31 things I learned in my 31 years. Let's go continue the vlog and have some fun. So while in New York, I went to Sephora in Manhattan to find the perfect foundation and concealer for my skin tone. I really been wanting to change up my foundation and try some more popular brands and you know throw out a little bit of the drugstore that I've been wearing and just wear more high quality foundation and concealers to give them a try. And the rep she was amazing. We did the tool and we found the perfect shade. You know, she wanted to see what kind of skin. I have if it's dry if it's oily the best foundations for me to find the best match and of course it was a 10 out of 10 experience it was definitely worth the money that I was spending she was not rushing me I was in there for over an hour and it was just a really great experience um, to me the foundation that she chose was a little light I went back to a different Sephora to find a different shade just so I could ensure that was the right fit for me but everything else that she recommended, I was totally in agreement with and I definitely will be back to Sephora to get some more stuff. I made note of everything that she recommended and I definitely recommend anyone looking for the perfect match to go to Sephora for that one-on-one -on -one experience and just to find the perfect shade for you. Hey lovies, welcome back to my channel. Coming. I guess who is here? You're too alive. Not a that, that is so cute. <laughs> Not the bus driver looking at us. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Guys, I don't know. It's like all eyes are on us. Like you guys don't dress up in New York. It's kind of weird to us. Oh. Oh, thank, thank you. So we're trying to get the bus to Green Acres. I was gonna take the Long Island Railroad, but that never worked out. So we're just gonna take the bus for like 40 minutes. Right. Um, <laughs> yo, they are staring us down all here. Let me just show you bring the outfit real quick. So, um, right. Yeah, we're all eyes on brick today. I'm just wearing like an altar back from Shein, my pants, some little sneakers. I think it's because yeah. most people up here they don't really dress up. This is this is we're doing the most I, to them. We're doing the most this today. This is not even my best fit, but just you know one little. Literally, we're not even trying. And all eyes. This morning I went to the grocery store for my dad and man I blow my kiss. Beautiful, no makeup, ear in a comb. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, happy. Thank you, thank you. 
One thing you know, the New York man them have a compliment you. Them have a taste say you look good. Mm -hmm. Mommy, mommy, beautiful. Me want. I'm like, oh, yep. thanks. Yeah, so have a little wait for the bus. We're going to take the Q85 to Green Acres. I'm not sure if it's going to be amazing, but we'll see. Something to do before we make our big adventure to Coney Island. So yeah, we'll keep you guys updated. Okay guys, so we're made to the mall. Uh, we're at Green Acres Mall right now with Brit. I went to Applebee's and I'm a little bit drunk. I don't know why I did that. It's just four o'clock. So yes, um, I haven't been here in a little while. It's such a little mall. They have Primark. That's one of the good little stores in here. So we're gonna walk around and see what we can find. Hey guys, so we're at Cody Island! Yeah, but it's so dark out here because it's gloomy as F. I would have taken that train and come off. Oh, I think that's just. Yeah. So when I didn't lose my AirPods the last time, literally as I got to the train, I was like, shit. Right, I can't believe it. I have no luck with AirPods, by the way. Yeah, where's the sun? Uh, I hope we can get some good pictures out here. I mean, the sun would have probably gone in by now at 6 o'clock. No, the sun gone in like 7 38. No? Well, I don't know. So, yeah, the Denning girls are out. Right. Yeah, so hopefully we'll have a good day. <laughs> oh, all I want is a funnel cake. Yeah, I've never had one. So we're gonna get a funnel cake and we're gonna go bumper car riding. Bumper cars? Come on, please. I like those simple stuff. I'm a big old man. No, we need for the something fling run like that. But I'm sick and I'm, my asthma is acting up and I'm not gonna have a panic attack. So I am not going to panic though. We just witnessed literally saw me on the train having like a, a panic attack. <laughs> no. You and our new friend can go on the bumper cars. Right, friend? Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, Brittany wants you to go on this, guys. Why is it over my head top? I need to record you. So Brittany's going on this ride because she's a brave girl. I don't like to know you. I'm a coward. I never told you guys it's I wasn't. Not, guys, comment it's below. Not water, it's not that bad. You can go on one. I'll go on one. one. No. Not this. Well, you can go on Something else, one. but not that. Now look a wave. <laughs> so who else is going to hold this stuff? Guys, listen, never tell her about it's a new brain. But tell us about to come and go for bumper cards and eat a funnel cake at a big band. But never tell her about to go on the roller. You can go ahead. Some walk up on the roller coaster. But never tell them all that. And I'm so proud of her. That's 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 amazing for her. I'm so proud of that baby. All the best, Brit. Kisses. You got this girl, right. So proud of you, girl. Good for you. To go bow for the result, nothing to discuss. Cause I did win by default, I'm without any doubt. I'm a me, I be a doubt. I no go feed the girl, I no go feed the girl is out. I'm a mind that should be dark. I put my life into my job, and I know I'm in trouble. She manipulate my love. I know. I 
How is it? Five out of ten. Awful. Five out of ten? I felt, when I got up there, I felt like I was gonna drop off. <laughs> like. Yo, Brittany said, what the F? <laughs> That's why. That's why I follow my mind. I did not die. And I'm very proud of you, sweetie. I'm very proud of you. Right. <laughs> she was crazy. Right. <laughs> I just want to play some like a shooting frog. I'm gonna need them to know that I do not yield to peer pressure. I came here to go on bumper cars. Bumper cars. And win me a little teddy bear to carry home. That's it. I'll do this. Spicy. Okay, so we're gonna attempt to play basketball. Y'all ready? That's all I got, just three balls. Damn, y'all shoot all that shit. We didn't shoot anything in that one, sorry. Go back first. Eventually. Are you on the second floor? Yeah. Oh, just... Boy, my girl walk out to the style. <laughs> the oh. shoes, y'all, it's the shit. She cutie. Come a girl. Could a good body girl. Oh. Could a good body girl. Angle, angle, angle for us. Angle, angle, angle. Boy, boy. <laughs> See my cousin here, guys. See my cousin in our cute up skirt. Could it shoes? Could it shoes, guys? Could like good body? Could it good body, girl? Mano for me, mano for me. Turn to the left. Turn to the right. Boy, boy, boy. What? <laughs> So guys, I'm in the store and I want to get these. What do you think? <laughs> do you think I can pull them off? These are so dope and they're so comfy. 
I just like when I grab myself some thigh high boots. Like, this is actually really nice. I told you that's a I want to feel about this. I like this though. This is cute and the denim. So I got pack up my suitcase. I got pack up my back home. Pack up my back home. Hey guys, so yeah, I'm trying Britney's Starbucks suggestion today. What is it? Which is trash. It's not. It what is. is. So it's she should have got the pumpkin highlighting. You know what's the stress though? It's matcha with um. Matcha with um. You don't even know what you she ordered. Know. The stress <laughs> out. She she don't even know let what me read myself. Had. It's Wait, um, we are no ice matcha with so oldies. guys this is the order it's so chaotic it's just a travel car it video. is a grand it's a grande. ice grande latte i will no. she will read it it's ice matcha with oat milk one pumps brown sugar two pumps white mocha vanilla, with vanilla sweet, sweet cream. cream it was so dear and, and caramel a drizzle on top. all righty moment of truth trash yes, tell him trash it's why are we walking this way so far as the other way Oh! I'm telling you, it's oh, uh-huh. You know, but I drink the foolishness. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. you do drink foolishness. But Shout isn't the caramel white taste good? No, it's yes. good. The, oh, the soft brown sugar and the white. This tastes good. It was trash, like Update. I said. <laughs> Update. Um. It was trash, like I I'm said. I'm not gonna say it was trash, but Only you know, if you like matcha, it's my first time having matcha. I'm you like, have to get trash. used to it, though. What you mean? You see Panar face is trash. No, it's not bad. Tanaya, you're just being nice for the camera. No, it's not bad. It just tastes like Macho. green juice with milk. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, and I don't mind green juice, but you know. With milk? I don't know if I get the big cup tea, you know. <laughs> the big cup you know. I think it's before you get the, the big cup. No. Because when you get the smaller one, I want to get more the caramel. Would I spread out a little bit more? When you get the smaller one, it's less matcha in there and more of the no the white mocha. Oh, so basically you just get the pure sweet cold food. Yes. Yeah. I mean, so I've been feeling dizzy all day, so it's probably gonna help me. I've been feeling dizzy, so I probably need the matcha for real. Are you feeling dizzy? I wanted some more caramel. Is you can make there's no, some more caramel inside. Wait, no, wait, no. You're not shaking. I guess I'll try. Give me some more caramel. What do you take? I, love, I don't know. I've got this tomato, so if you actually like it, that's, that's good to me. What if you can go inside and bake in some juice, though? I'm <laughs> Where are we now? Don't tell me. We are exiting Fulton Mall. We're on Adam Street. These are the court buildings. So okay. this is one court building right here. That's one right there. That's another one. So basically, all the way going down towards the Brooklyn Bridge over there. Uh huh. That is the courts in Brooklyn. Let's go to my drink chicken. Right. Let's go catch it first. Oh, take a picture first. Take a picture when you buy. Okay, that more. You don't really want to take this little bit of chicken. Oh, wait, wait. Come here, first serve them. All right, one serve. All right, ladies. Okay, bad. Stay or go. Stay or go. Stay or go tonight. What you say? So here comes my mother. So you wanna say stay or go? Can go on. Okay guys, so I'm at Penn Station um, with the Long Island Railroad. So good news today, I my camera is ready for pickup so I'm actually on my way to go pick it up right now. I took the Long Island Railroad all by myself because you know, you know your girl has a traveling, the public transportation thing locked. So yeah, I'm on my way to get my camera. It's an eight minute walk. So I'm here at um, Penn Station and we're walking to 8th Avenue to go get my camera. So we're back in business, back in business, can't wait. Yeah.
Okay, so in here is really nice. Like I've never been, I don't think I've ever been inside Penn Station. I've been to Grand Central, but not Penn Station. But it's pretty nice in here. So I'm walking to 8th Avenue and 31st Street. And honestly guys, once you follow the directions on Google Maps, like it's not hard to find where you're going. Just have to follow your map, um, listen up for the prompts, where to come off, and all that stuff, and it's pretty easy, so yeah. Okay, so this is, I'm not sure where this is, but we made it. It's a beautiful sunny day. Um, people are staring at me because I have on my mask, but hey, gotta protect myself. These buildings are high. Yeah, so um, of course I got my Yeezys on, so you know, the color of the shoes changed. And uh, yeah. Hey guys, we're back in action. Your girl got her camera back. Why well, I feel like my lips too pink? No, they're okay. Yeah, so we're in New York. Um, I'm here driving a BMW today. Yeah, your girl's not the passenger princess today. I am in Flushing, New York. It's a beautiful Saturday. Well, I don't know what you want me to do, you because know, if you can't pass, I'm not really sure what to do to be honest oh oh this is valet parking oh 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 it's perfect oh it looks so pretty oh it's back we're back in business guys i had to spend the 250 but we're back in business and it looks better it looks so much better however i had to take off the lens but we'll work with it it's apparently it was training the camera a lot so yeah we're in flushings i think and we're gonna have Korean barbecue. There's lots of spots around, so we're gonna. Um, a while ago, it was a valet guy doing about the valet parking. So yeah, we're gonna be trying out this Korean barbecue spot. I know that. What name? This is not Hanju. <laughs> so a while ago, right when we we're walking into the first restaurant, it was like legit all Asians just eating their food, and we would have been the outcast for sure. So we're trying to find all you can eat. It's a good little walk. Oh, it's a good little walk. Also check your car. Find it. <clears throat> like everything on here is um Chinese. Is this Hanju? This is like Hanju. What is this? So oh, so you get beef intestine. Don't let me scream. Beef, entrails, pork neck, ribeye steak, pork rib, beef, <laughs> pork belly. So this one, Iron Age is better. Like Iron Age you pay one price so you can do all you can eat. This you have to like buy separate meats and then the bill pad up. I just wanted to do like an all you can eat Korean barbecue since it's like, you know, since it's two of us, it just make more sense financially. But I don't gotta watch. I don't gotta watch the the pocket with this one. I don't gotta watch the pocket with this one. Why? My boo got me. He rich. All on the front of the street looks really nice. It was like all you can eat. But if you guys are ever in Maryland, you can definitely try out Iron Age. Iron Age is really really good. Um, but the Iron Age is across America so you can just google Iron Age yeah. not the wall <laughs> right so yeah we'll have a one minute walk to Hanju so we're not really sure who paid the money to, to valet park the car because at this point <laughs> well the man got the car, the car key that's so funny well right so um I like this Oh, that's a beautiful car. It's a girl. No, it's a guy. Yo, the Asians. Them and them. Where are you going? You don't have the. Where are you going? You don't have the. All right. So I'll update you guys when we get into Hangzhou or whichever spot we decide to eat at. Barbecue shoulder butt. 
spicy chicken. It reminds me so much of Iron Age. And then you have like, this is that mozzarella sticks, sausage, um, noodles, oh, just like Iron Age. Stuff that you can eat. So we're at the all you can eat Korean barbecue, guys. Ice cream's are nice in here. Yeah. Other nice things in here. So they even have seaweed soup and beef radish. So I'm just gonna get some soup right now. Huh? You like butter? 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 Yeah. The butter. Oh yes, please, yes, please. Okay, so this is what I got so far, guys. This is the grill. And then we'll have like our seasonings. I need just to give you a seasoning. And um, so this is it's called New York K barbecue. All you can eat. It's like their drink menu. And then they'll have like a lunch special right here. Later. So it's pretty exciting. So he's adding the butter for us right now. Onion sauce and my soup and cooking on the other meat right now. It's looking good, guys. So, guys, this is definitely giving Iron Age a run for their money, like no cap. This is giving Iron Age a run for their money. Oh, it tastes like miso soup. You can drink it from here. Oh, it's good. I'm happy we came here instead. I just knew that all you can eat Korea would have been better. Oh, it's so good. Alright, it's it. You like it? I've always seen, but I've never had it. You wanna try it? You wanna try it? Try it. It tastes like gumbo. They have sake? Um, they have sake? We have sochu. Sochu? Yeah, look at it, right? Yeah. Is it good? You have flavors or? Yeah, we have flavors. Peche, green flavor, mango. Which one you like? Peche is more. Peche or lychee? Is it like a bottle? Yeah. Uh, so we have the peach? Peach. You say you have lychee? Yeah, we have lychee and peach. This is just like Iron Age noodles, guys. The try looks exactly like it. Oh, mm -hmm. it's Iron Age all over again. I think it's with the Iron Age. Oh, I should she grabbing my chair. Yeah, more bad, more bad. Oh my god. I think good today. 
I did my research today, guys. I did good. I'm proud of me. So good. So we're having some sake, peach flavor. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad. Oh, you can't taste the alcohol in here. But it's only $10. That's not bad. And to the other place, we'd have to pay for every single meat option that we chose. So the all you can eat, always stick with the all you can eat Korean barbecue. But if you ever get a chance, definitely give Aaron Age a, a try, guys. I Why am I full already? So they just brought over some steamed eggs, guys. It's on the whole thing. Not that. This is so good. Guys, I'm going to tell us my belly full. I'm going to understand why I'm probably too belly full. And then the lady, she was like, more? More, more, more meat? More meat? Like, no, baby, I'm full, man. Like, I am disgusted. I, I really didn't eat that much food. I even went back for some lettuce and stuff. Like, no, my belly is full. I think I'm done for the day. Whew. It was good though, 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm.